Okay, welcome back to this little project. Um, in this video we're going to make some moving clouds going across our terrain. So if I play the game now and look up to the sky, we have a few clouds, but they're not moving, they look a bit boring, and because I'm on top of a mountain range, I'm expecting the clouds to, to kind of engulf the mountains because they're so high up. So I want the clouds to move across from left to right, so uh, it will look really effective when we put our wind turbines in and they're rotating, it will look kind of realistic. So. Uh, to do this I'm going to make a particle effect, so particle system and um, let's call it clouds grey for example so straight away I've got my particles uh, before I started this video I I put in my cloud texture um, if I can find it here here it is, it's just a very simple photoshopped cloud so I'm going to use that um, and also guys the material, I've made a cloud material it's under particles alpha blended so down here, alpha blended particle. So I've just put the texture to the, on this particle, made it a bit of a grey colour, and that's how it's turned out. So that's this is the material we're going to use on our particle effect. Um, so let's put it in the right place to start with. I'm just going to put it slap bang in the middle and to the side a bit. That's where I want it to start. Let's put the rotation to zero so it's going in the right direction, and let's just fiddle about with some of these. So I want it to last about 90 seconds. They're going to go very slowly. Uh, I want it to pre-warm so the particle effects will be at a good position when we first start the lifetime um, 30 let's say um, the size or the speed I want it to be quite slow so 3 uh, the size let's say um, 70 I think that's what I used previously <laughs> 70 or 80 let's go for 80 rotation doesn't matter. Let's just put a bit of a grey here to make the clouds a bit grey and I think that's all we need to do so I should put the lifetime to 90 really so the clouds will last a while um, let's go down to the emission we just want one cloud every second, don't want it to look too gloomy the shape, we want a box shape and the values for these are 30, 140 and 20 let's say so it looks a bit long. Um, I'm going to rotate it in this direction. So yeah, that do. So all the clouds will be uh, emitted in this area, away from the scene, so they won't just appear in the middle of the sky. So they'll travel across. Uh, and the last thing, guys, is the renderer. So let's replace our material with our cloud material. And as you can see, it works out pretty well. So it's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so. Um, there's a bit, there's a lot of clouds, a bit too many clouds. So let's go back. Um, max particles. Let's change it to uh, ten, not a thousand. <laughs> okay. So that looks a bit nicer. Let's simulate this. Um, let's play the game. See what it looks like. So the clouds are beginning to come over. Um, let's move it in a bit. Uh, so it should pre-warm. Alright, that do. I'm not too worried about the clouds. So yeah, that's how you make your clouds, guys. So, really nice way to do it. it looks really nice. Uh, you could put the alpha down a bit. Stop. Do it again. Doesn't look as grey. So that's the first particle effect I wanted to do. The other one is for the, for the whole area. So just a white glare in the sky. So let's do that now. Let's create another particle system. Uh, duration, let's put 30 again, so we do want it to pre-warm this time so uh, 30, again we want to be quite slow and the start size, let's put 80 again and I think these values are fine, so let's close that the emission, the rate, um, let's put 4 every second, not quite 10 but and again we want a box, so let's do that so for the box, let's put 30 high 150, uh, 200 let's say, or something like that. And again, I don't know why it's in that orientation because I worked this out before the video, but do it zero degrees. So as you can see, our whole scene's engulfed in the the, the clouds. So it looks quite nice as well. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to do down here? Don't let's cast shadows. Let's simulate it again. So if we play the game now, let's have a look. 
so yeah there's a nice lot of cloud now so that looks really nice it looks very fresh and if we look very closely we can see a few grey clouds uh, going about so this is how I tackled the cloud situation guys uh, we can name this to cloud just clouds we could actually bring it down a bit uh, where's our scene? there it is <laughs> so bring it down a bit more so let's just change the shape, let's put this to 200 as well um, yeah that's fine let's put the alpha down a bit try again okay that looks pretty good actually, it looks pretty nice so I'm happy with that uh, as you can see, the, you can see the clouds coming through the mountains and it looks rather nice so a bit more realistic so yeah, this is the clouds guys, this is how you do clouds uh, in the next video I'll probably uh, do the wind turbines, I'm going to model out a turbine to show you guys how to do it in Maya so uh, hopefully guys I'll see you in the next video we're almost done blocking out the scene and in the next section I'll be adding some nature to it, adding a bit of um, interactivity and stuff so hopefully see you soon guys, thanks for watching